As a child, uh, what prompted your interest in acting? Or indeed, was that as a child or as a, an adolescent? Uh, as an adolescent, I, why I did it, I presume, was because I, I was a, an only child, and uh, I was brought up in a very peaceful area in a small town in the south of Sweden, where there was a college. My father was a professor at that college, university, and uh, I was probably rather shy as a child. And uh, my father also, his subject was folklore. So he was a master in telling f stories and uh, adventures and folk tales and that sort of thing. That was his field. And I, I'm sure I'm one of, I've heard more fairy tales than probably the average child has ever because of this. And uh, maybe that prompted my imagination when later on, in high school, a group of my friends and I started a amateur circle, theater circle. And why did we do that? Because uh, the major town close by just had opened a marvelous municipal theater, huge, big, with two stages, one large, one small. and. Uh, before that, I hadn't really seen any theatre, nothing. And uh, the influence was very strong, and the inspiration also. So that's what happened. And we played all kinds of Swedish plays, Strindberg, uh, plays by a writer by the name of Bergman, not related to Ingmar Bergman, Jalmar Bergman, who was here in the 20s, with Victor Sjöström and Maurits Stiller a couple of years, but who didn't get along here at all, so he left. But he was a wonderful playwright and novelist. We played, we did a couple of his plays, and so on. And uh, that made me later on decide that I wanted to try to become an actor. What was your, your first film? It was called Only a Mother, based on a novel by a Swedish novelist directed by Alf Schuberg. In terms of making an adjustment from theatre to film, uh, how did you approach that? Uh, I don't know. I, my first film happened in 1949. I, I was accepted at the, the Academy at the National Theatre in Stockholm in '48, so I was a student there and uh, got an offer to be in this picture the following summer, which I did. And um, Sweden is a small country, with small population, small audience, and a small group of people who are, are actors. So we cannot have specific movie actors or theater actors. We have to do everything. So that's what I was brought up to do. And. Uh, when I didn't rehearse for the theatre or act at night, I did things for the radio mainly in those days. We didn't have television. And in the summaries, there was at least one film. And uh, so that became a routine. And that seemed, of course, your work with Ingmar Bergman. Uh, most of those pictures in the 50s were done in the summer? Yes, they were. How did you meet Mr. Bergman? I was playing. After having gone through the academy, which took three years, I got an offer to be in uh, to work in a municipal theatre in a smaller town outside Stockholm. I spent two years there, and then I moved on to another municipal theatre in the south, and stayed there for two years. And during that time, Bergman was one of the directors at the theatre in the town that was my first that I just told you about which was my first theatre experience. He had then become one of the directors there. And uh, he frequently came over to our town and saw whatever we did at our theatre. And uh, I got an offer to move over to Malmö, the municipal theatre there, which I did. And that was 55 in the fall. And uh, there I was in 
I participated, I think, in two productions during that season that Bergman directed. And the following summer, he did uh, The Seventh Seal, and that was my first film with him. And after that, we've been working together both in the theater and uh, in films for many years. 